So let's get started. The first step in optimizing uTorrent is to ensure you have the latest version installed. Updates often include bug fixes and performance enhancements. So make sure you're running the most recent release. If you're running a VPN or proxy and it does not support torrent downloads turn it off, especially the free VPN. When you download or share files through a torrent client, your IP address is visible to other users in the same swarm. This makes you vulnerable to potential threats such as the internet service providers may monitor torrent activity and potentially throttle your connection speed or send copyright infringement notices. Malicious peers or torrent swarms can include malicious users who may attempt to exploit security vulnerabilities, infect your system with malware, or even launch cyber attacks. If you want privacy use a VPN, a VPN establishes an encrypted tunnel between your device and the VPN server, ensuring that your data remains secure and private. This encryption prevents ISPs and other third parties from monitoring your torrenting activities. This video is for educational purposes only. Please ensure that you comply with the laws of your country and respect copyright when engaging in torrenting activities. Check the video description for VPNs that support torrent downloading. If you are using a wireless router or device to connect your computer to the internet, move the device closer to your computer for a stronger signal. If you can connect to the device using an Ethernet cable, please do so. Also, if you are able to change the DNS, change them to public DNS servers like those for Google to prevent any restrictions or throttling imposed by your ISP. Also, when it comes to torrents, choose a torrent with a higher number of seeders than leechers. Seeders are users who have already downloaded the entire file and are actively sharing it with others in the torrent swarm. They play a crucial role in the distribution process and ensure the availability of the file. Leechers, on the other hand, are users who are actively downloading the file but have not yet completed the download. They rely on seeders to obtain the missing parts of the file. Opting for torrents with a higher number of seeders can significantly improve your download speed. With more seeders, there are multiple sources from which you can download the file simultaneously. This increases the overall bandwidth available to you, resulting in faster download speeds. One more thing close any other downloads or streaming running on your system to achieve fast downloads on uTorrent. Now let's dive into the connection settings, which can greatly impact your download speeds. Click on options in the top menu and select preferences. Here, we'll focus on three key settings, bandwidth, BitTorrent, and queuing. In the General tab check all the boxes that are not checked under the Win Downloading section. Set the maximum upload rate to say 100 kilobits per second. When you download a file through a torrent client like uTorrent, you also become a participant in the distribution process. Your device starts sharing the parts of the file you've downloaded with other leechers who are still in the process of downloading. While sharing your downloaded parts, it's important to allocate sufficient bandwidth for downloading. By setting a reasonable maximum upload rate, you ensure that your download speeds remain fast and uninterrupted. Set the number of global connections to 250, you can even set it to 1000 if you want. Set the maximum number of connected peers per torrent to 200. In the Connections tab, make sure the port used for incoming connections is above 10,000. Also ensure all boxes are checked except for the randomized port each start. Here, you'll find important settings that determine how uTorrent interacts with other peers and trackers. Optimizing these settings can significantly enhance your download speeds. In this version of uTorrent version 3.6 the settings are optimized by default. In the BitTorrent section of uTorrent's preferences, the outgoing option in the protocol encryption section refers to enabling encryption for outgoing connections. Let's understand what this means. When you enable outgoing in the protocol encryption section, uTorrent will attempt to establish an encrypted connection with other peers or seeders when sending data from your computer. This encryption helps disguise your torrent traffic and makes it more difficult for internet service providers or other third parties to monitor or throttle your connection. 
enabling protocol encryption, both incoming and outgoing, can enhance your privacy, security, and potentially improve your download speeds by preventing interference or limitations imposed by ISPs. However, it's important to note that encryption alone does not guarantee complete anonymity, and it's always advisable to use a reliable VPN for additional privacy protection while torrenting. It's worth noting that for effective encryption, it is essential that the receiving peers also support and enable encryption. By enabling both incoming and outgoing protocol encryption, you maximize the chances of establishing encrypted connections with other users in the torrent swarm. You can also increase the download speed of individual torrents by setting the bandwidth allocation to high. Let's explore the queuing tab. These settings control the number of active torrents and the maximum number of active downloads. By fine-tuning these parameters, you can prevent overcrowding and improve overall download performance. Maximum number of active torrents. This setting determines the maximum number of torrents that can be active at the same time. It's advisable to set a limit based on your available bandwidth and system resources. Setting a reasonable value ensures that your active torrents can receive adequate bandwidth for faster downloads maximum number of active downloads. This setting specifies the maximum number of torrents that can be actively downloading at any given time. It's helpful to set a value that aligns with your internet connection's capabilities. Limiting the number of active downloads allows for better control over your bandwidth distribution and prevents overwhelming your connection, resulting in more stable and faster downloads. You can speed up uTorrent by downloading one by one, so set the value to one. You can torrent trackers to get even more speed. Adding additional trackers to uTorrent can potentially help improve the speed and availability of your torrents. Trackers are servers that help facilitate communication between peers in a torrent swarm. By adding more trackers, you increase the number of potential sources for your downloads. By adding additional trackers, you expand the pool of available peers and increase the chances of finding more seeders and leechers for your torrents. However, it's important to note that adding too many trackers may not always result in faster speeds. It's recommended to add a reasonable number of reliable and active trackers for optimal performance. Finally, you can also set the uTorrent priority to high in the taskbar. Setting uTorrent priority to high can allocate more system resources to uTorrent, prioritizing its operations and potentially improving the download and upload speeds. Keep in mind that setting the priority to high may increase the load on your system and could affect the performance of other tasks running simultaneously. If you notice any negative impacts on other applications or system stability, you can revert back to normal settings. And there you have it. By applying these settings and strategies, you can optimize uTorrent for faster download speeds. Remember to strike a balance between download speed and overall internet performance, and always respect the rights of content creators by downloading legally. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tutorials.